is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a Sailor Moon video for you guys. We're going to be opening up a Sailor Moon figure along with an entire case of the Sailor Moon blind boxes, and we have two Kinder Eggs to open up as well. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the case of blind boxes. And just to let you guys know, when I ordered these off of eBay, it actually came with two cases for the full set because there's actually two different versions for each character. There's one of them winking and then one of them w without the wink. So hopefully we won't get any duplicates. I've opened, I think, maybe four or five of these from the other case, and we never got a duplicate from there. So I'm thinking that we're going to get one of each character. So for the first one, we got her right there. So I'll go ahead and get her put together real quick so we can take a look at her. And so here's our little figure. It looks like she's holding a book of some sort. She's got a little blue bow tie on the back of her dress right there. And to be honest, I haven't seen any of the Sailor Moon shows or anything like that. So I'm not that familiar with this actual series, but I really like the way these characters look. I love the anime figures, the little collectibles. And I'm thinking her name, according to the box right there, it says A-M-I, which apparently I'm thinking that's pronounced Amy, but I could be just completely wrong. Could be like Amy or something like that. But here's our next one. So I'll get her put together real quick and we'll check her out. So here's our little figure. It looks like she's holding some sort of little gift bag, a little present of some sort. Of course, she's winking. She's got the one little hand out like that. The only thing that I don't like about these collectibles is the base is just so loose, like they just kind of flop all over the place. But luckily, when they're actually sitting on something flat, they'll stay there like that. So that's good. So it, it's not a bad base. It's just it makes it kind of hard for me to show these to you guys. But her name is, I believe, Makata. I figure if I say it say it in a funny way, maybe you guys won't be able to tell if I'm saying it wrong or not. Let's go ahead and open up our third blood box. And we're just going to rip these up because I'm not going to keep the box. And we got this character right here. So I'll get it put together real quick and we'll check it out. So here's our little fellow with his uh, purple base. Purple is actually my second favorite color. So I really like the base. That is neat that they made the bases different colors. That at least makes it unique. So you can kind of mix and match your favorite character with your favorite color base. And his name is Mamuro, something like that. I, I can't even pretend that I know how to say those types of words. And the blind box on this one's actually kind of already opened up. So for this one, we got this character right here. So I'll get her put together real quick. So it looks like we got another Makoto. And here's going to be the other one so that you guys can kind of see the difference here. One's winking, one's not. Other than that, they're actually really similar. I can't even see any other difference between the two. I'm sure somebody's going to comment and say that I missed something about it. But to me, those look, uh, those look pretty similar. Now that kind of also answers the question of if you only buy one of those two cases, you're not going to get one of every single one of the characters. So if you want the whole set, if you want all the characters, you're going to probably have to buy both cases because, again, if you just buy one, you're, you're most likely going to end up with two of the same ones like I just did. So it looks like we get this one, so I'll go ahead and get them put together real quick and we'll check him out. So here we go, we have both versions of this one now. As you can see, one's winking, one's not. And other than that, I cannot find any other difference between the two. So that kind of answers the other question. I'm, I'm wondering now, I'm wondering if this final blind box is gonna be the other version of this one. And if it is, that means that you're gonna get, I guess, three and three of the same characters in each case. But this one is not. This is definitely not the one with the blue hair. This is going to be the Sailor Moon girl, the main character, I believe. Yusagi, I guess? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. But I'll get her put together real quick so we can check her out. So here's our little figure, which also comes with a cat. And the cat actually comes with its own base, which is a crescent moon. It's a clear crescent moon. It would have been pretty cool if they would given it like a yellow crescent moon base. But here's our main figure. It looks like she also has a little gift of her own. And I really like this figure. This is, in my opinion, the best looking figure in that set. Like her hair is just really cool. And it's like super like blindingly bright yellow and her blue dress and the little red bow tie just match it so nicely. That is just such a cool figure. We're going to set that down. Now, before we open up the final little figure, we're going to open up some eggs. So right here we have a Disney Princess Kinder Egg and we have a Kinder Joy Egg. 
So let's open up the Disney princess egg first. And this one, let's see who we get. And it looks like we got Jasmine. So I'm going to get our Jasmine put together real quick and I'll show her to you. So here's a really good look at our Jasmine, which she almost looks like she could fit into a Sailor Moon episode. We'll go ahead and set her down next to our other characters. And right here we have a girl Kinder Joy egg. So this is the female version. There's a boy version which has a blue top. And then this is going to be the girl version. And for this one, we have... What is... Oh, no. Not this again. So we've actually we've gotten this twice in different colors. But this is like a little spinning top. So I'll get it put together real quick and I'll show it to you one more time. So here's what our spinning top is supposed to look like once it's all pieced together. And the way it works is you grab both sides and then you push down. And then it's supposed to spin. That wasn't a very good example. Let's, I want to really get this thing going. So let's see if we can do this right this time. There we go. So that's what it's supposed to look like once it's actually spinning. And then for our Sailor Moon figure, this is something that I bought on eBay. Here's a look at the back, and let's just go ahead and get it out of the box so we can take a better look at this. And our top's actually still down there spinning a little bit. It's finally winding down. And this is going to be a figure that I don't, I don't think it's going to be posable, but I, I guess we'll find out here in just a second. So here's a closer look at our figure once she's on her base. And she's actually, she's on that base really good. She is not going anywhere. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Supergirl with the way that these bright shiny red boots go up her leg but you know there's a couple things that I've noticed about the Sailor Moon figures and the toys number one they're hard to find you can't just walk into most stores and find this type of stuff and number two when you do find them they're really expensive this one was actually $30 which is definitely not cheap for this type of collectible and even the blind boxes were pretty expensive as well but I hope you guys enjoyed our Sailor Moon video for today. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know if you do or don't want to see more Sailor Moon on the channel. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.